like this. The American Thanksgiving dinner revolves around turkey, a bird indigenous to North America that was eaten by the first colonists. The tradition of a presidential pardon of a turkey dates back decades. The first ever recorded turkey pardoning was by President Abraham Lincoln, whose son Ted asked him not to eat the turkey that was given to the president. But it didn't become a tradition until more modern times. President John F. Kennedy, Ronald Reagan and Richard Nixon only extended pardons to Turkey from time to time. It was only during the administration of President George Bush Sr. in 1989 that the ceremony became an annual event. After all, this turkey represents America's 45 million turkeys who will begin making their uh, irreplaceable contribution to our Thanksgiving celebration. So take it easy, Turkey. We're just here to serve you. The selection of birds takes several months, a process conducted by the National Turkey Foundation. Two are ultimately chosen, one for the ceremony in the White House Rose Garden and the other as a reserve. Bird names are chosen by elementary school children. <laughs> Most presidents use the ceremony as an opportunity to have some fun. Time flies even if turkeys don't. You think it's funny too, don't you? <laughs> On the Tuesday before Thanksgiving, the turkeys are driven to a hotel in downtown Washington, the W Hotel. There in a suite, they are fed corn and blueberries and prepared for a photo shoot on the roof. After that, it's off to the White House. Butter, I wish you a lot of luck, but I, I hereby grant you a full and complete pardon. After the ceremony, the pardon birds spend the rest of their lives at the Virginia Polytechnic Institute. Jacopo Luzzi, VOA News, Washington. Every year, no way I'm cutting this habit cold turkey.